This is the smash hit Joel Bateman, Australia's premier deathmatch wrestler, and you are listening to Wrestling With Entertainment. We are wrestling with WWE Hell in a Cell preview. It's uh, tomorrow, actually, and we already kind of talked about this already, so let's kind of, let's get into it. First match up, we got Cesaro vs. Seth Rollins, who wins Scooter. And uh, considering that this match was literally made uh, last night, um, I'm... I want to. I want Cesaro to get the win here. I, I think, but I think it's going to be Seth. I'm going with Seth. What's a you, Kalisto? Consider Cesaro got the win at Mania. Seth is kind of pissed about it. Um. It seems like this is going to be something going for a while. The only way it can go for a while is if Seth gets the win. So, the drip god himself, Seth Rollins. Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. Who wins, Scooter? I mean, it feels like we've seen this match like a billion times. I mean, we just about have. Um, I mean, it. There's there's nobody left to you know, back Sammy up, so uh, it's, it's it's KO KO all the way. Kaliko, the one match where they literally took fight forever, literally. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's got to be KO, right? Because he just got a ban. Sammy got a ban by Apollo, so I mean. Or it could be Sammy, because, I mean, he's trying to get the title back. So, it's it's a weird dichotomy, that intercontinental hand. But we'll go KO, just for fun. Alexa Bliss versus Shayna Baszler. Who wins Scooter? You know, it's very rare we ever see Shayna Baszler afraid. Very true. And... So uh, something is clearly going to happen, where somebody is most likely Reginald, uh, me or maybe even Naya, who knows, uh, is under control, and ends up doing something to Shayna, where Alexa just swoops in for the easy pin. So Alexa wins. What say you, Kaliko? The winner is WWE because those 10 people that paid $600 for those damn cameos. Woo! But on a, <laughs> on a much serious note, uh, I'm going to go Shayna because I feel like Alexa's character is kind of like Bray's where wins and losses don't matter. I mean, she's going to be scared to death, but... Somebody's gonna help her get the win. That's hot. I mean, what are the odds we see a giant lily costume? I mean, this could end in like a, a smalls where, uh, kind of like the Firefly Funhouse match, where okay, that's how it ends type thing, rather than a definitive one, two, three. No, there was a one, two, three in the firefight. <laughs> yeah, there, w- there was, but I, uh, the swamp match. Yeah, the swamp match didn't have a one, two, three. Uh, I mean, I could, I could imagine see having a you know, a a lily costume, and then it turns out, oh, it's the fiend underneath. Oh wow. But isn't the fiend pissed off? At, at, then the fiend would be talking 
but the but then the thing the, yeah, Lily would show up and then attack Alexa. I feel like the Fiend and Lily are kind of beefing because uh, Bray was talking about no more clout chasing. So I mean, he did, and, and he did have the picture of Sodom and Gomorrah. So revenge of the bitch. Raw yeah, Women's Championship uh, match: We have Ripley versus Charlotte. Who wins? Who I'm I'm gonna go with Rhea to retain. What's a Rhea needs it more than Charlotte because Rhea's pretty much this is a revenge match for her. I like the same way I was saying about Asta. It's like Asta lost at Mania, but the match is occurring. She got the wins, but so Rhea to retain. I kind of feel like. The whole, uh, you know, redemption arc is with Rhea not being being able to beat Charlotte. So I think maybe either disqualification or maybe even give Charlotte the championship back. Uh, I mean, the question is. Maybe Charlotte's on the verge of winning, and Nikki Cross tries to buddy up to Rhea by trying to help. Because it kind of feels like uh, Nikki Cross is kind of the the one in the arc, the story arc that's kind of messing up the the redemption of. Real Ripley storyline. You kind of know what I mean. The James Ellsworth, the Dean Ambrose. Yes, very much. And, um, uh, not really, because because Rhea's playing both. I mean, Nikki's playing both. It's not like Jane, like. The James Ellsworth thing, it was all one-sided with AJ, but now Nikki's just proven that she belongs, which she does, but it's a matter of fact of whether she's going to cost either or the match or a double GQ or something. Very true. That brings us to the SmackDown Women's Championship match, Bianca Belair versus Bailey inside Hell in a Cell. Who wins with Belanca. Bailey Air. Um, the letter B. Um, I mean, this is, honestly, this is probably more cut and dry than people think. And it's, it's Bianca. Bianca for the win. What's a new Calico? Well, there's a big booties. I mean, uh, um, Bianca. Bianca's gonna win. I mean, it solidifies her reign. My question is, is Sasha gonna come back and get the title, or maybe that draft comes and Charlie goes to SmackDown and the challenges her, but she's gonna need a new challenger. Um, I think we could all agree on that. I mean, Carmella could get so many title subs, right? And that brings us to our WWE Championship match. Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre inside Hell in a Cell. Who wins? Hmm. Bobby Lashley. Drew loses... And then no more title shots for Drew as long as Lashley's the champion. And we all know Drew's record going into cell championship matches. So, question is, what do you do with Drew if he loses? 
that's that's the big question for me. And as much as I want to say Drew will win it, I'm I'm going with Lashley. What say you, Kalika? Oh, Lashley just hit 100 days as champ. WWE made a big deal about it. This was my problem when Lashley got the belt because I was like, after Drew, who's going to be a legit contender? Well, it's rumors that Brock Lesnar is coming back to wrestle him at SummerSlam. I believe it when I see it. Um, until I, and, and even if Brock comes back, I won't believe it until the bell rings. How about that? Wow, all right. but, <laughs> I believe that when the bell rings because the Lashley Lesnar fantasy is just like the Steam Taker fantasy. Like, I believe it when the bell rings and then both of them are in the ring, but it's got to be Lashley because it. He's, he's just coming into his own as champion. Uh, Drew really, at this point, I mean, somebody could cost Drew the title and he could kind of gear off and deal with that before he gets there. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking Lashley. 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 And I'll conclude our coverage of WWE Hell in a Cell. Join us next week as we uh, we do a review of the show as well. And uh, how should people listen to Hell in a Cell this upcoming Sunday, Scooter? As always, if you stand out in a lightning storm with a coat hanger. But if you really want to listen to it, then you tune in to the remix. Only on UMB Sports 2 at Mixler, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. And it's on a Father's Day this year. Yes, it is. And also, happy uh, Juneteenth. Wait, you. you know this It's a holiday, be- baby. <laughs> got one. <laughs> got one. Okay, well, we got two. MLK and then Juneteenth, yeah. I mean, this, uh, it being Father's Day, this might be the, the best opportunity to actually have Coleco on the remix. <laughs> I mean, being a black father on Juneteenth weekend, yeah, you might have the best shot. <laughs> <laughs> if you like what we're doing, please like, subscribe, comment on our YouTube and Castbox. Uh, of course, this episode was sponsored by Rogue Energy. Use promo code Wrestling with E for 10% off your next purchase. Join us this Wednesday as we interview Owen Brody. And follow the show on uh, Twitter and Instagram at Wrestling with E for all your Wrestling with E uh, needs. Uh, you can follow us individually as well. I am at JamesJ993. Where can they find Calico? I am Coleco. Shout out to the recently retired ACH and Leo Rush. Great careers for both. And what can they find, Scooter? As always, find me on Twitter at Scooter Dust. And, of course, on the Smoking Dragons Twitch channel, twitch.tv backslash Smoking Dragons. There are 20 sides to every story. Come be part of ours. For Coleco Yacht, Scooter Dust, I'm James J, and this has been Wrestling with Entertainment. Hey folks, this is the Colossal Mike Law, and you are listening to Wrestling with Entertainment. Enjoy the show, support these guys, we appreciate it very much. We'll see you at ringside.